Okay, here's a, a graphing problem for microeconomics that you think would be easy on Excel, but there's a little, it's actually not, su not super straightforward to graph this on Microsoft Excel. And what we're going to do, we have this data, and we have prices, and then we, we're going to graph the quantity supplied and the quantity demanded on the same graph. And the problem is we want prices on the y-axis and then we have these two plotted on the x-axis. So if I just go ahead and highlight this and I go insert and I go here to scatter plot. So it plots it actually pretty quick but the problem is it plots it's got prices on the x-axis and quantity supplied and demanded on the y-axis which is not what we want. We want that we want this flipped. Now, you might think, well, I can just hit this switch for one column, right? But that's not, that makes kind of a goofy graph, and that's not what we want. So I'm going to switch it back. So what you really have to do, you have to tell Excel what, what axis I want th this uh, graph on, okay? So uh, it's not that hard, but the first time you do it, it doesn't seem that intuitive. So I'll just go ahead and click on one of these. And then I'm going to go up here. When I click on the, when I click anywhere on the chart, you get this chart design. You don't really have to click on one of these. Yeah, you just, just click on the chart, go to chart design. It's a contextual menu. And only if I click away from the chart, it goes away, right? If I click on the chart, this contextual menu comes up. You're going to hit chart design. And, uh, hold on. There we go, chart design. And then we're going to go to select data. And this is where we can edit it. So the quantity supplied, we'll edit the quantity supply first. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go edit. And this is, it tells you what, it, what it's picking here. Quantity supplied, it's picking B, sheet one, B2, which, so that's what we wanted. That's what the name of the series is. But the X values, you can see it's doing 1020. And we want the X values to be quantity supplied. So I'm, what you have to do is you highlight this and go, go ahead and delete it and then highlight the quantity supplied. And then Y varies. I'm going to delete that and then remember why we want to be uh, price on the Y axis. Okay. And then I go OK. So now I've, now I've switched this one to do that. But now i got to switch the other one. So i got to go to quantity demanded and then edit. Again it's on there showing the right name. But we have to delete this, and our x values are these. Remember, x has to, quantity demand has to be on our x axis. And then again, we're going to go ahead and pick those prices again to put those on the y axis. So I'm going to highlight this. You have to delete it. If you don't delete it, there's some funny things. And then put price in there. And then we go, OK. And, we, and then sure enough, so I go, OK again, and we have it. Now, you could actually make the, make the chart a little, a little bit nicer. We could go, uh, here we can go quantity demanded and supplied versus price for the title. And we can even add uh, access titles here if I click on here. If I go up here, remember I'm in the chart design again. We go to add chart element, access title, primary horizontal. I can type here uh, QS and QD and hit enter and then I can and then I can go here again for the vertical so I put that down here that label that and access tables vertical again actually since price is already here I actually can go here and go equals price and then enter and it puts a price in there and sure enough now you have whoops control Z is your friend now we have a really nice graph uh, and it has the things on the right axis it has the price on the y axis and the quantity of supply and demand on the x-axis. So like I say, the problem with, with uh, when you do it, it automatically picks this first one as the x-axis and these two as the y-axis. And we actually want these two as the x-axis and that as the y-axis. So you got to do a little bit extra work. So hopefully that helps. If you like this video and you want to subscribe to my channel, my picture should come up here. You can just click on my picture to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, give me any comments. Uh, hopefully that helped. Bye.